Hi, I'm Pamela Poole at Pamela Poole Fine Art, and I live an amazing life as an artist and an author. As if my life wasn't already amazing enough, my prayers were answered in late 2020, and my family got to move back down into the low country of South Carolina. We are near the Hilton Head Island area, and um, it's a wonderful place for inspiration when that is sort of your... Uh, theme of all your paintings and books, so I'm sure to be able to have a lot of things to inspire me and uh, light a fire under me to get some more work done in my studio and in my writing. My husband also bought me a new camera, so um, I'm loving using the, the zoom lens on the wildlife around here. We aren't a pet family, but we do love wildlife. And in our backyard lagoon, there is an alligator that we call Elvis after Sonny Crockett's alligator on his houseboat in Miami Vice. Um, there, is, there are all kinds of uh, great blue heron, ibis, egrets, uh, you name it, we've got it back there. And we're loving every bit of it. And we love to take walks and, and encounter it all and zoom in on it for close-ups to explore the area. So, um, as I'm getting back into the art scene here, I do have, my new studio is set up. I'll try to post a few uh, pictures of it in my newsletter so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, a lot of it is some of my former furniture from my previous studio. I like to use recycled, upcycled furniture, especially solid wood pieces that have a history to them. Because just like people, furniture with a story is more interesting than someone who doesn't have a story. I um, am slowly getting into the art scene here, kind of checking out the personalities of everything to see where I would fit in the best as far as relationships. Also, um, where my work would fit in best for the personality of the group. And so, I'm not rushing that, but I have entered a couple of shows. Um, the shutdowns have um, delayed a lot of things. One show that was supposed to be this spring in Old Historic Downtown Bluffton, I've entered a painting into that and it will be in July instead. Um, that will be my, actually it's behind me, I don't know if you can see it, but it's the one with the bicycle and the sunflowers in the basket. Um, that will be in a show in a gallery in uh, the summer in July, um, probably through August. I'll get the dates on my website in case you're vacationing down here. Um, one that I was thinking of getting into a show on the Hilton Head um, scene in, on the island, um, it, it's actually due in six days. I'm not sure I'm gonna be finished and I'm just not going to push myself, but I am working on it. And that is this painting that's behind me. It is a scene from Shem Creek on the pier, and um, there's going to be a bicycle, which is my ne the next step. I'll be um, probably later today working on getting a bicycle and some other things in there that make the front interesting. I also need to come up with a sign for this wire I've got back here um, that will be hanging up. I'm not sure what I'm going to say on that sign, but my reference picture is one I took. Um, when we were there on Shim Creek and on one of our lovely Charleston trips. Um, if you've been to Shim Creek for the seafood, you probably have been on this pier and you know what I'm talking about. That bicycle there, my husband thinks I should use lime green on it in the painting. So uh, we'll see how all that pops and all the lightened colors I'm going to put in there. A camera, in case you don't know this, and and you wonder about artists painting from reference photos. A camera sees differently from the human eye. Um, these shadows and the um, darkness on the shadow side of the pier railings, those are darker than you would see them if you were in person. That's just what a camera does. So I'm gonna play with getting some color and light into all that and making this a lot more colorful painting. I'm gonna use this palette. If you followed me much on my work and my videos, you know that I like to keep a color palette reference nearby my easel for a particular painting I'm working on. 
so that I stay true to that vision and don't run off on rabbit trails with all these other things I want to try. Um, one of the reasons that I thought I would go with this picture is not only that I like it and I love bicycles, um, but one of my most popular paintings on my website for prints is from this original that is not for sale. Uh, it's a personal painting. Um, people seem to like this deck. Probably this is a pier also out on Edisto Marsh um, near Charleston. And I went with a lot more um, realistic coloring in it because I was just getting back into painting on a pro level and getting back into the guilds and shows and things like that after a break that I took. Um, I took off about 10 years to home educate our son. And then when we moved back to Charleston, I got back into it. Um, this was one of my first paintings, probably my first painting, getting back into being a pro. And um, so it it's a lot more realistic. I wasn't willing to explore and play and things like that because I had been away from that scene so long. But it is one of my um, most popular paintings on my website. If you'd like to go see it, it's at Fine Art America. Um, you can find it on my regular website for uh, PamelaPool.com, but the print orders are, uh, and, and other things, they, they put it on pillows and all kinds of other things, phone covers um, on Fine Art America, so you can find me there. You can probably see the link um, on my website at PamelaPool.com and just click it and it'll take you right there. So um, the whole point of both that painting and this one is supposed to be the relaxation just a feeling of a summer day, a vacation, um, island life, uh, just a relaxing afternoon where you don't have to be anywhere. Nobody can make you do anything. You're just going to relax. And so that will probably be the theme of the title. I haven't come up with a title yet. Um, when I send this video out in my newsletter, maybe some people will send me back some suggestions for a title for this painting. But um, I'm in the muddy middle of this painting, and if you're an artist, you know what I mean. It's when you don't really like it anymore, <laughs> and you wonder what you were thinking when you started it, because you're not sure you can pull it off, but that's where I'm at with this painting, and I'm going to keep working. I don't like the marsh grass. Um, I'm definitely going to have to do a lot of work on the pier, and the bicycle will be a challenge, because um, it's, I can't just paint a circle for a bike tire. The tires are going to be tilted, and um, they're going to, it's going to distort the circle. And so all of this is going to be a big challenge that I have coming up for me. If I finish, I'll try to enter it in the show. Maybe it'll be selected. Maybe not, but that's not the point. I did it because it was something I wanted to do, and I was willing to put in the commitment and the hard work that it took. Nothing magic, just the hard work and the commitment to make something happen and get it to where I want it to be. So thank you for dropping by my studio, my new studio here back in the low country. I hope that you will follow along with my newsletter and hopefully I'll get some blogs and things going too. Um, 2020 was kind of a rough year for a lot of creatives. If you follow creatives, you probably have heard this. Um, we just didn't feel very inspired. And I did accomplish some things, a video series teaching with this painting behind me, um, Southport Sales, and um, an art history series with some free uh, art history lesson plans on my website for homeschooling parents who want to use those. But as far as doing much with my writing or anything, I just, I didn't, I felt more like being with my friends on social media trying to help them get through some dark times than creating anything for myself. So that has changed. Um, I'm in my new area, my muse, basically, the low country. And um, also, I have switched my social media outlets. So um, you used to be able to find me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, you know, those big data mining and data selling services. I'm not there anymore. <laughs> and my website really hasn't updated their platform enough to um, have the buttons that I need, the little icons that you can just click 
and easily go to my site. So I'm going to put links to my site on MeWe, and there's a good creative community there um, if you're considering something different uh, and you kind of want to get into a place that um, values your privacy and isn't such a censorship machine. Um, also, I'm on Telegram uh, for headlines, mostly just for news. I don't do a lot there except just keep up with what's going on. Um, if you're on there, I'll post my link. Maybe we can link up there. Also, I'm on Parlor, and there's a good creative community on Parlor. So um, I'll post my link so you can see if you are on those if you want to hook up, and uh, or just sign up for my newsletter and so you can keep up with me there. Thank you so much for stopping by my new studio here in the Low Country, and um, I just hope that you have a blessed day. That you do something creative. Be brave, go out, and make a difference in the world. Bye-bye.